Hello again, this is Bill Snugs, aka The Mobile Agent with EXP Realty. I am still in our newest subdivision, the Williams Farm subdivision located in Harney County. I thought I would give you a tour of a couple of our homes. I'm going to do the uh, Magnolia model first. And uh, it's, it's approximately 80-85% complete. Not quite there yet. I thought I would uh, let you take a look at it. Uh, it's a really nice house. As you can see, this particular one, this, this is the Magnolia. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, open floor plan. All three bedrooms are on the second floor. On the first floor, you do have a uh, flex room that would make for a great home office or maybe a playroom for the kids, but we'll look at that when we get inside. Thought I would just let you take a look at this one, the exterior here. Um, this house is white and the, uh, I guess it's not quite, it's white with some, with a hint of gray in it. And the, it has the uh, gray, dark gray colored, um, shake but it's a really nice looking house if you look at the board and batten which runs you know vertical and then look at the um, lap siding that runs horizontal and even though they are almost the same color it does give you the contrast because you got the vertical and the horizontal you got the vertical there around the garage the board and batten and then under on the uh, covered front porch there, you got the uh, lamp siding, which is running horizontal. I love how the uh, the gray stone at the bottom uh, here on both sides of the garage and on the columns on the front porch and on the wall there under the covered porch. That gray stone is almost the exact same color as the shake siding. I love the uh, windows there on the second floor, the three horizontal windows there, and then you got the two vertical there, and you got another horizontal, those two there, which I think is in the master in the suite. Could be the closet, I can't remember off the top of my head. We'll take a look when we get upstairs. Again, um, this is the Magnolia. It is approximately 2,000 square feet. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. All three bedrooms are up. As you walk into the front door, uh, that's just paper covering the flooring that's been laid down. There's the, what it looks like. But standing here at the front door, before you got that's the door leading from the garage which most people will probably be using that entrance when you drive up and park in your garage two car garage that's where your hot water tank will go right there but come into your garage or the front door right across there there's your uh drop zone cubby hose where your muddy boots bags backpacks whatever can go there and that will be your half bath there. The uh, toilet and sink haven't been installed yet. Like I said, we're probably about 80% complete. Right there is your, gonna be your coat closet here. So going on through to the left, you have the kitchen and the uh, dining area, the uh, kitchen, Got white cabinetry here in this one. The, uh, look, we do not have a pantry, but this particular cabinetry here holds quite a bit. It holds a lot more than you might think. And you see the shelves, the shelves are adjustable. You can make them different heights and you can even take away a shelf or you can add a, add a shelf or two. So hold quite a bit. No pantry 
no traditional pantry, but this cabinetry offers quite a bit of storage space. That's where your fridge is gonna go. Your stove and microwave will go there. And your dishwasher will go right there. And love this, uh, these granite countertops. Let me pull this plastic back so you can get a better look at it. Look at the, it's, it's perfect for this kitchen and this house with the, uh, the grays that tie in the exterior. You got the white, the different tones there of gray, black, white, and the white cabinetry. It looks, looks absolutely fabulous. Really nice looking granite countertops. So, cut those back up. Okay, now looking at this uh, dining room area, this dining room area is a lot bigger than it may appear. You know, it is uh, probably about, it's, it's right at probably about 165 square feet. All these square, all the square footage gonna be, I'm giving you is definitely going to be uh, approximate, approximate, estimated, but pretty close. 165, about 165 square feet. We don't have the uh, lights and and stuff installed yet, but it's gonna be nice. Gonna, I'm gonna walk out the door, give you the exterior shot before I finish the interior tour. So you got uh, approximately uh, 0.4546 of an acre of lot, acre lot, so almost a half acre lot. Nice, level, pretty level lot. Landscaping hasn't been hasn't been done, but it would be pretty nice once it's finished. Give you a decent look at this exterior. You got your covered porch. Decent sized lot, like I said, nearly a half acre lot. All the lots here in Williams Farm are close to a half acre. Going back inside now, Notice you got the gutters here in the back as well. You got, got the sliding glass door. Heading back into the interior. Now, looking at the family room, you got the fireplace already installed. It's gonna be a uh, propane gas. Uh, fireplace so you have to get your tank and the uh, family room decent size it's approximately 212 square feet and then we're gonna walk on through that office that flex room I was telling you about that make for a good home office you know this room is approximately 92 square feet but hasn't the flooring's not down yet. But like I said, it'll make for a good office or maybe a little playroom for a toddler for the kitties. Make make for a nice homework home homework station. You got one or two kids. Gonna head up the steps as you can see. The second floor is not finished. Stair stairs haven't been completed. There'll be carpet on the stairs. It's a little dirty up here, but it's okay. Here's, this right here is the laundry room, which is very convenient. You don't have to worry about uh, toting loads of clothes up and down the steps. And decent size laundry room. Now, top of the stairs, make a hard right. Kind of like a two hard rights and you're in the uh, owner suite. The owner suite has a tray ceiling. Really good size uh, room. The owner suite is approximately 245 square feet. King size bed and furniture, no problem. Going on into the uh, owner's ensuite 
path. You're gonna, there's your closet. Shelving hasn't been installed yet, but you will have a, a window. So you'll be able to tell the difference between those navy blue and green and black socks or whatever you're putting on. Right here is a pretty good size uh, standalone tub. And then there's your garden. I said standalone tub, that's a standalone shower, I'm sorry. Standalone shower with a bench seat. And then there's your garden tub, a couple more windows. Another window there for a lot of natural sunlight. You're gonna have a double vanity. Mirrors will be installed. Got an actual water closet. So there's your water closet. It's gonna be a pretty nice bathroom. Heading back out, give you a quick glimpse at the other two bedrooms and the full bath. And there's the bath. It's gonna be a double vanity here. And then there you got the bathroom I mean the shower tub combo and the water closet. Out here in the hallway, you got a linen closet there for those for that particular bathroom. You got bedroom number two. Decent size. Closet there. Bedroom number two. And that bedroom is about 163 square feet. And then bedroom number three with the windows that I really, really, really like. And this particular bedroom is about 161 square feet. So decent sized rooms, really, really nice house. Again, this is the uh, Magnolia three bedroom, two and a half bath. Heading back down the steps now. Just flip the camera again. As I said, this is the Magnolia plan. Three bedroom, two and a half bath. Has open floor plan concept. Uh, has the flex room for an office. Rocking chair, cover, rocking chair, front porch, covered back porch. Almost a half acre lot. Nearly 2,000 square feet has pretty much everything that you would want if you only need three bedrooms. So take care if you think you might be interested in one of our Magnolia models, reach out, give me a call. Ken, Bill Snugs, the mobile agent with EXP Realty. These homes are built by JSJ Builders, local builder that's invested in our community and a builder that, that builds a quality house. So really great builder, really great product. Give me a call, 910-366-0802. Hope you're enjoying your day and looking forward to the weekend. Thank you.